It's all fun and games. It's all fun and games until it happens to you. I'm Verlus, and this is my Battle Tree story. And oh my goodness, this is one of the most ridiculous battles I've had in my entire life. And what ends up, like every every little bit of this is unbelievable, guys. I I, I don't know. So I was bringing Togekiss because Togekiss was working on the battle spot, and I was thinking, yo, I can just slay the opponent's entire teams pretty easily. Then they start bringing all rock types. For the sixth one so i gotta switch out to a kiss tyrantrum is way too strong the, the opponent was thinking the same thing i gotta switch out my tyrantrum Togus is too strong and we both go into barbarical i don't know if there's even odds that could be calculated to justify what just happened so he uses stone edge it misses that's fair i get my shell smash that's going to be gg easy against barbarical right there so that's where i go and just get ready for that earthquake so we can see right here that I'm getting those stats, I throw out the Earthquake, and the Barbarical dodges it! So it's gotta have a Bright Powder, and then it gets a Shell Smash for itself, and then it wins the Speed Tie. So, that's pretty much what's gonna happen here after we go through all the crazy stat boosting and whatnot. Just takes a while to go through all that. So yeah, I do my- I don't even get a chance. Barbarical just outspeeds me, hits the Stone Edge, and then that's gonna go and KO my Barbarical. Because I have minus one defense now, so there's nothing I can do about that. I bring in my Aegis Slash, because I'm thinking, well, he's at minus one. That's going to be the freest Sacred Sword ever, and also I can get some Swords Dance, deal with Tyrantrum, and then we're going to be good to go. Unfortunately, I wasn't expecting the Razor Shell, so I didn't King Shield right there. That was probably like one well, of the misplays that cost me this battle. I was like, yo, just Sacred Sword, oh, never mind, Sacred Sword's going to miss right there. Okay, so this is where I decided to go for the King Shield spam. Because if I, you know, King Shield, he'd raise their shells, and then I get into my Figgy Berry, and we, like, it works out. Like, the play goes good. I feel like I can absolutely bring this battle back. I know that Aegislash Slash can KO the Barbarical easily. It can KO the Tyrantrum easily. If I just play around with these turn, if I just play around with these, uh, like, Swords Dances and King Shield and stuff for a couple of turns, I'll hit plus six, and then I can Shadow Sneak. The opponent doesn't stand a chance. Like, it's, it's absolutely over right there. Now, one interesting thing I'm going to mention now, that's kind of like forewarning that you guys might already be aware of, when an opponent switches, whenever the AI switches, it's because it doesn't have a damaging move against that Pokemon. So I'm wondering what that other Time Rancher move is. I'm like, okay, does it really just have Earthquake as an offensive move? What could be going on here? So I get a defense drop, but that isn't really too bad. I end up getting like all my combos and all my stats right here. So I was able to drop the Barbarical low enough, and then I go for the offensive, and that is going to be a Sacred Sword with a lot of damage behind it, and it actually lands. But that's two Bright Powders right there for the Barbarical. So the dodges were pretty nuts. And this is where my heart kind of just sinks, because like, okay, here's Tyrantrum. I can deal with this. I just have to go into that stance change, get my King Shield up, and then just hit it with the Sacred, or the sacred Sword, and we're going to be all right. So, that's gonna be a thing that happens, and then we- I don't even remember what Tyrantrum did, this was- yeah, that's right, Tyrantrum did the Earthquake, so I was thinking, oh! Earthquake confirmed! Okay, that means I could switch into my Togekiss if I wanted to, so that's gonna be my Aegis Slash changing form, going into Sacred Sword, Sacred Sword misses! And he goes for a Stealth Rock on that turn. I don't know if that's luck, if the opponent's trying to give it to me, or what just happened? He did a damaging move, then he went for that, I outsped, and then Sacred Sword is gonna miss again! So, he is running a Bright Powder on one Pokemon, and a Lax Incense on the other. And Sacred Sword misses twice in a row off that 10%, 10% while I had the outspeed, and because of it, I die. Togekiss comes in. I'm thinking, alright, Togekiss, just go and clean off this Tyrantrum. Gonna be easy right there. I take a lot from the Stealth Rocks, but we'll be fine. And then he switches out, which is another red flag. What is going on here? Goes into the Rampardos. Alright. Maybe I can deal with the Rampardo. So this Rampardo switch helps me out quite a bit because that's going to be free damage. And then that means I just need to get a couple of flinches and it's going to be enough. So that's going to be the Air Slash right there. And it looks like whenever you hack the Battle Tree, the Battle Tree hacks his back. So I get my I get my flinch right there. I'm going for these Air Slashes. And I actually get the back-to-back -back flinch. So Rampardo survives. Just enough health. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't, I don't know. I get, Oh, I got the miss. That's what ended up saving me. So yeah, I, the, I, I got the flinch, the land, rock slide misses, and then Rampardos goes down anyway. So we, we made our survival that we needed 
and that kind of happened right there. Side brings in Tyrantrum. Since he's been switching out his Tyrantrum, that means he has no damaging moves, so Togekiss should be able to win this one. So Togekiss should be able to win this one against the Bright Powder double team Tyrantrum. So I get Air Slash, and I'm thinking, that's doable. That's maybe a four hit KO. And then we see another double team come through from the Tyrantrum. I was like, I needed a flinch. I need him to not be gaining these stats right here. So Air Slash is going to miss. Actually, I need like, I need a counter right here for how many times Air Slash misses because this is the rest of the battle right here. He's just, he's only on like two or three double teams. I should have a chance of landing, except Air Slash misses for a second time. He gets another double team. I wish my luck was this good when I was running double team or minimize. That normally the opponent doesn't start missing until I get like my second minimize or something like that. Oh, by the way, uh, Air Slash is going to miss again right here as he decides to go for the plus six. This is where I start feeling worried because I still have a lot of damage to do that Tyrantrum and I have not landed a hit in a very long time as he goes for another double team. So it's very clear that the Tyrantrum has zero damaging moves against me. He has an Earthquake, Stealth Rocks, Double Team, and some other move. By the way, I missed again. He is now at like plus six on the Double Team, so he can't really do much more, but it doesn't matter because I missed again. And then we reveal the magical fourth move that has forced Tyrantrum to switch up at this point. Oh, by the way, I missed again. So it's all Dragon Tail, it's Earthquake, it's just stuff that isn't going to work, and I miss again. So, for those of you guys keeping track, I've missed, what was that, eight, nine air slashes in a row now? And that's where the bad things start happening, because I landed, well actually no, it wasn't that bad, it wasn't that bad, because I, I had to hit the tower entrance, so, or I had to hit the uh, Rampartus, but I missed every air slash until I had to struggle myself because it's Scarf Kiss. Never did I ever imagine I'd be put into a position where Scarf Kiss would get PP stalled by a double team evasion Tyrantrum with no damaging moves against my Togekiss. I can't even come up with a similar situation where that might have been a possibility. You know, just a, a stalling Pokemon that has stab that can't hurt me or anything like that. But there it is, guys. So, to add a little bit of extra. I, I wanted to say drama, but to add a. A little bit of extra fun to this video. I have to rematch him. I ain't going out like a chump like that. Now, there's a couple of options I can do. I'm bringing the same exact team. It looks like it forces me to bring the same. Oh, wait, no, it brings all six. Okay. So it looks like the replay is kind of broken right there. I guess he's leading the same Pokemon every time. Okay, that's fair. So at least Token Kiss is in the first slot. Alright, I'm gonna try to mimic this battle as close as possible. And I honestly don't want, know what to do. I don't know if I should try to play the Age of Slash better. Hope I don't get hacked out. Or maybe if I should just try to deal with the Barbarical. You know, let's go for this again. Because he has to withdraw. We know the Tyrant can not do anything. And he goes to the Barbarical. Because who else is running Barbarical but me and this guy? And who else is switching it on the first turn? So Air Slash is actually a good hit. So I just need to kind of keep the Barbarical down right here. Now, I also did want to get into another showdown with the Tyrantrum, and maybe I'll rig that battle as well. You know, just kind of make it to where Tyrantrum is the only Pokemon, and then it's just Togekiss. But I'm still feeling good right now, because I'm going to play my Aegislash better. I'm going to lead King Shield, I'm going to drop his stats down to nothing, and then I won't have as much to worry about. So can we beat the Hiker, except he switches this time. He's playing differently. I'm calling Swords Dance Sacred Sword. And praying he just doesn't randomly dragon tail me this turn. Good. He goes for the Stealth Rocks. His Barbarical stayed in last time. So, I'm not really too sure. But let's do it. Let's land that Sacred Sword. I don't know. I'm... I'm at the, I'm at my peak of sarcasm at this point, because after that happens, you just, you just don't really come back from that. So now that's my blade form, Age of Slash, not getting completely wrecked, because I do have that defensive investment, I guess, and I don't think it matters, well, I, actually it doesn't matter, I'm just king shielded to make myself feel better, 
Because if the Tyrantrum's Bright Powder is going to Bright Powder me, it's just going to Bright Powder me. And there's nothing I can do about that, whether I'm going for the Shadow Sneak or the Sacred Sword. So, who cares? Let's just throw down the Shadow Sneak. That's an entertaining move right there. If the Shadow Sneak misses, then it's rigged. Actually, if the Shadow Sneak lands, actually, yeah, if the Shadow Sneak lands, it proves that the battle tree itself is rigged. If you're just doing a normal AI battle with nothing, no stakes, yeah, it's gonna be fine. So, this Rampardos, I'm thinking King Shield. I'm, I know I'm probably gonna be faster than it, but I just like to have that King Shield, and maybe I could like Swords Dance behind the King Shield after I see what movie he's going for. Because he goes for Rock Slide, totally Swords Dance, and then I'll have my Wiki Berry activate, or my Figgy Berry activate, and I'll be good. But that's a crunch. But he just minus two on the attack. So yeah, it's totally going to be me taking that sword stance right here. And I'm faster, which is what I expected. So I'm not going to expect Crunch to do too much, and then that should give me extra health, and then we should be fine. And then we should be fine. So now I'll outspeed, I'll land my Sacred Sword, and it's down to the Barbarical. Now, this Barbarical has wrecked me before on the battle tree, because it didn't do that, but it, it had Bright Powder, and then I missed twice when it was going for its uh, Shell Smash setup. So naturally, I just kind of lost immediately. So we're going to see if the, how lucky the Barbarical can get. And also, maybe if I just... I like, there's no way I can lose this. But that's what I thought the last time. There's no way Aegislash can lose this. So that's going to be the Barbarical right there. Actually, yeah, Barbarical's weakened. No, let's not take any chances. We're just going to Shadow Sneak. It's just going to be it right there. Okay. We got our Revenge. It just doesn't... I don't feel it, though. I don't feel like I got enough... Oh, no, I didn't want to play with that. I wanted, to, I wanted to do the rematch. I wanted to do the reverse Togekiss showdown. Or the re-Togekiss showdown. But yeah, I thought I'd feel better after beating him. But no, like, he didn't get his hacks, which I think is actually more insulting when you think about it. Because it's just the battle tree. And also, it, that was like the second or third team that just brought hard counters to my Togekiss. So the battle tree definitely just, like, reads your team and hacks. Four... Four, three of the hardest hitting rock Pokemon ever. Alright, so this one's gonna be different. This one is gonna be me using all of my Pokemon at my disposal just to make sure that Tyrantrum is the last Pokemon alive. And then we'll just get into the uh, Togekiss Tyrantrum battle. And we'll see if Togekiss can pull it out. Because if I win, again, there, there, there's something fishy going on. But I still can't believe what happened earlier. Like... I got hacks in my favor. He got tons of hacks in his favor. And then things just kind of happen. So well, we're going to go for the air slash. Is he going to mix it up or do the same thing? All right, always into the Barbarical against Togekiss. Always into it with this one. So... Like I said, it doesn't matter. I'll just go into the Amoongus and one-shot the Barbarical. And we'll be fine. I just really... I just really want to see what happens with this Togekiss now. Ow. Crap, though. That was, uh, that was a lot of damage. We should, we should be able to Giga Drain just fine. Yeah, good. Shell Smash into my Giga Drain. Put me back up at full health. Let me wreck the, the Tyrantrum, or let me wreck the, uh, Rampardos. Then we can see what Ty... <sighs> I was looking for words. So I know dead air is like a really bad thing. Damn. I'm gonna just put a bright powder on my on my barbarical forever now. So apparently that's the strongest thing that could ever exist. Alright. Barbarical's got his setup. He doesn't want to switch now. Alright, I see how it is. So Barbarical only switches if it doesn't have the shell smash, and that's gonna be the razor shell drop. So let's just go. Get our swords dance. Use our sacred sword. Oh my god, it's doing it again. See, this is the barbarical that took me down. Same barbarical that took me down. And he wasn't, he didn't do the double team last time. He just did damage. Now I decided not to, I don't understand what the AI chooses. Oh my goodness. Fortunately, sacred sword is a really, really good move to have in the battle tree because it ignores evasion boosting. It doesn't ignore the bright powder. But at least it ignores all those double teams. So, suck it, Barbarical. Even though double team, Shell Smash, 
Bride Powder Barbarical seems to be one of the craziest metas I've ever encountered. Actually, this should go really well. Because what I can do is I can bring in Togekiss. That means he's probably going to set up his Stealth Rocks. And then I can just do whatever I need to do to take out his Rampardos. Yep. I, I, I was able to predict the AI for a moment. This is obviously the most crowning achievement I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, uh, this... Oh, no, I didn't... Yeah, I, never mind. I was like, I didn't want to Air Slash. No, I wanted to Air Slash because his our Rampardos is, is his uh, predictive play. This this feels just... Hmm. And Rampardos dodges that. Okay, then. That's cool. I guess Barbarical. Eat the hit. Hit the Razor Shell. Tyrantrum dies. Yeah, this feels like the ultimate boss challenge. KO Tyrantrum... KO Double Team! Bright Powder Tyrantrum with only Air Slash. That's like final boss level right here. And we're gonna see if we can do it. I feel like Maximilian Dude. Oh my goodness. Why did, I don't even know the name of that berry. Pasho Berry. I was about to say, I feel like Maximilian Dude, whenever he does one of his like boss challenges, I feel like I'm going, oh God, now I'm, go I'm gonna botch it in front of everyone. I'm, I feel like though, I feel like the number I'm looking for is Evo Moment 34, full parry. It's either 34 or 37, but I'm putting my chips on 34. And then, like, the, the boss challenge to recreate that moment. That's what this feels like. Because he got he got all those perfect dodges. Perfect parries from that uh, Tyrantrum right there. So, I'm just going to Sacred Sword. It doesn't matter. Oh, of course. Also, while this happens, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up Evo moment, and it's gonna be 34 or 37. It is 37. Damn it! I knew that's why I was like, it's either 34 or 37. It's one of those ish 30s, and I I didn't rehearse for this video at all. He protected. As long as this doesn't miss, we'll be fine. Good. I don't understand where this where this level of hack variance comes into play, but now it's time, guys. It's time to bring it back. Togekiss, can it happen? I, I'm not. I'm not even going to disgrace the Evo moment by comparing this to it. But well, I mean, I already compared it. I'm not going to call this any kind of moment. We're just going to go for it, guys, and it's going to happen. Yeah. So I. Yeah. I think he. I think I missed like 10 air slashes in a row because I had 15 PP, and then a lot of turns went by and things happened. Tyrantrum flinches. We need the dramatic music. Tyrantrum's gonna flinch, guys. Air Slash is gonna do it. It was only a four-hit KO. Can we get the reverse shutdown? Oh, it begins. There's just, like, I'd, I'd understand if it landed and I didn't get the flinch. But no. How much does it take? All right, just takes that right there. See, it would, I was just three more hits away through all these double team setups. Is it going to happen, guys? Is he going to dodge nine more? Okay. We we overcome our demons, guys. I can actually go to sleep now. And not feel... I, I feel good. I feel whole again. Whatever that was, it broke me. But I am now fixed. I just had to know that I did it. I could beat that Tyrantrum if I really wanted to. But at least... At least I have... I have the I have the recording because no one believed me. No one would believe Tyrantrum dodging ten air slashes in a row to then PP stall my token kiss. That's the battle tree, guys. Hope you all enjoyed my video. Hope you all enjoyed my descent into madness. And thanks for watching.